Oh. Did you see that, man? Oh. There you go. <laughs> I didn't get him. He got me. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean here. This morning, we're going to do a little bit of long nose gar fishing. And um, right now, currently, the surface temperature is at 83 this morning. Let me show you. Let's just get straight to it. Let me show you what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to use a medium action Shimano Cellus pretty limber rod I'm using a Johnny Morris spinning reel it's got a 6 2 and 1 gear ratio and I've got it loaded with 8 pound test braid I have an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader a small float split shot and a size 6 Gamakatsu hook octopus hook made by Gamakatsu and what we're gonna do I'll just show you right now simple way to catch long nose gar a lot of fun and yes I'm fishing a little bit light I'm gonna start off with a thread fin shad a small one real small that that thread fin is probably about an inch and three-quarter long and I'm just gonna hook him up like this right through the bottom of his lips now these are dead i just had caught them with a cast net that's what these fish are feeding on right now let's quit talking let's catch them i see some right out in here in front of us folks what they're doing i'm fishing i'm gonna start off around a foot foot deep let's make us a cast what they're doing is they're coming up then going back down that's all they're doing. Coming up and going down. And I may have to anchor right here, but I don't think so because there's a lot of gar in this area. Matter of fact, right here in front of me, there's a bunch of them coming up. And a lot of these are big, real big. I don't see my cord. A little float's gone, I believe. It is. See, there's a fish running with it. Y'all see that? There he is, too. This is a good one right here. What I like to do right here is just like I always like to do, take my time and have my fun with them. That's the sport of fishing, folks. And the reason why this fish ain't jumping is because I'm not putting any pressure on him. I want him to wear out before I get him in this net, I guarantee you. Fighting fish. If you'll match your tackle right, you can have a lot of fun out here doing stuff like this. Now he'll come up here and jump. Golly, what a gar. That's a good one. That's about the average size. I've seen some a lot bigger than this one. Oh, there he goes. And it takes a lot of effort to, to wear them down. It really does. A lot of time to wear them down. They're a powerful fish. And if you, now you can see right there where the hook is, it's right in the corner of his mouth. Not his beak, but his mouth. Let's go ahead and net him. Come on in here, boy. Now, I want y'all to look at some teeth right there. You talking about, and some of those teeth are about five sixteenths of an inch to three eighths of an inch long. And you can see plumb through them almost. They're just like glass. Now, I'm gonna grab him right there on the beak. I got these leather gloves. They ain't gonna hurt me. And see where the hook is? Right in the corner of his mouth. That's what you want. 
small hook, size six and a size four, but a size six works the best. That fish is probably around, I'm gonna say 34 inches long. If I catch one bigger, I'll measure him. But to me, using like tackle and fishing like this, it is a lot of fun. These fish fight. Let's let him go. I'm not being in a real big rush because gar are very, very hardy fish. So I don't have to handle them uh, like I would a crappie or a bass. All right. Ooh. Slipped a little bit. Let's let him go. Now they're a hardy fish. He's going to sink out of sight like that. He'll catch his breath and then he'll go again. You can leave a gar on the bank for two and a half and three hours, son. Um, son. Out in the roasting sun. And they'll live. You can throw them back and they'll live. But you can see he ruined my hook, so I'm going to tie me another one on. They got a tough mouth. Real tough mouth. I'm going to try a little red hook. Size six. All right, let's quit talking about it. Let's catch another one. Woo. Dog gone. I am talking about woo. I drifted off the fish a little bit, so I had to turn around, face the wind, and come back. But the last time that I hooked this little shad, I hooked him right like that. Because they're like any other fish, folks. When they, when they eat a bait and get ready to swallow it, they're going to swallow head first. Now, for bass, I always like to hook them in the lips, but this is a little different situation. Right here, that beak, there's one right in front of us. Let's just make a cast out there. I may be back in them. Yeah, and there's another one right there. There it goes. Let's say three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there he is. It'll work every time. This one right here don't really know he's hooked yet. So let me loosen this drag off. He does now. <laughs> he knows it now, folks. So eight seconds after your float goes under, eight to 10 seconds, let's say. And you can go ahead and set the hook and catch that gar. You don't have to wait a half a day before you set the hook. Of course, this is a lot different than alligator gar fishing. Oh, come here, gar. Golly. <laughs> come back here, boy. Get in here. All right, let's put him right there on the bucket. I'm trying not to get a boat. Now, see, I just barely got him, folks. Right there. That's good enough, ain't it? That hook should just, yeah, it just come out. Beautiful, though. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Look at that tail. Look at him, he gone. Now it takes them a little while to key in on that bait. Even though there's a lot of gar, what they're doing is they're going to the bottom then rushing up. And then going back to the, to the bottom. I think I threw my shad off. Yeah, let's put us another shad on. They're coming up and going back down instead of laying up in the water column. That's what they're doing now. There's a fish, folks. I'm gonna let him have it just a little bit. Y'all ready? There we go. He's coming to me. I don't know how big he is. There he is. <laughs> I'm freelining now again. I've done this two or three times. Two or three times to figure out how to catch them. I'm freelining with a small split shot anchored now. 
that one didn't give me much of a fight. That's odd. Some of them will and some of them won't. But usually they'll get, I got him just barely right there in the snoot. He got a little different color than them others. He's more gold. Quit. Oh, man. We're going to lose him right here. I just want to touch him. There he is. That's a good fish right there. Let me put him right here. I don't want all that old gar slime up there, would y'all? My, my, my. That one didn't fight. Some of them give you a fit and some won't. Now that, and I can't explain. Hey, that's what I thought. He was awful green when I put him in the boat. He is gold. All right, let's let him go right here. Thank you, old boy. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Whoa! Let's catch another on it. A low, 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 low percentage of fish is biting out here. Every once in a while, folks, want to mess up. They're not in the feeding mode right now at all. And I have <clears throat> been in a situation like this where, it, but I've still caught a bunch of fish, a bunch of fish, but as many f fish as out there, excuse me, you would think you'd j they just hit like crazy. And a lot of times they do, they will, but, but not today. He's got it, swimming with it like crazy. Let's give him a few more seconds and we'll put the steel to him, folks. I want y'all to help me. Y'all ready? All right. We got the steel to him. He's coming our way. See how big he is. Oh, he's a good one. Look here. No wonder. Now that one's about 35 inches. Just guessing. <clears throat> Doggone thing's got a lot of power. That's that's something I've never figured out. I'm gonna say it once again. Some of them fight like crazy and some don't. Man, let's get this one in the Oh my goodness. See what I mean? <laughs> that's powerful fish. I don't know where he's going, but he does. He knows. It'll come up and gulp, a, gulp some air like that one did, and it just rejuvenates them, just like a tarpon. Kind of about like a tarpon. Now, come on in here. Let's try him out like, well... There we go. We got him. Yeah, that's a good one. There ain't there nothing wrong with that fish right there. I'm going to get a tape. Hey, quit. I'm going to get a tape measure on that fish. I'm going to say he's... <sighs> what do y'all think? Y'all make a guess right there. I know it's hard to do. I'm going to say he's 34 inches. Let's see what we got. We got. All right, let's jam him up. Look at there. Now nah, he's 37. Y'all see that? Now nah, he's more than that. Let me butt it. Well, let's call him 36. 36 and a half. 36 and a half. That's a pretty good guard right there, folks. That's a pretty good one. Uh, there's some in here bigger. A lot bigger. You know, at least three or four inches and maybe more than that. They get big. Let's let this one go. Thank you a lot, you fattened thing. Got him a go up there and now he's gone. See what I mean? Powerful, powerful fish. 
I tell you, old Clarence, he shaved that hair on his back or his wife did. But he left some right there at the base of his neck on the back. Them things is at least two and a half inches long. Old long, black, black, black hair. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. I love each and every one of y'all. Every one of you. Hey. Doggone it. Woo! I'm talking about... Woo! And remember, go fish it when you can, but call it good for you. Whoa!